This video is titled Equivalent Fractions and we have a scenario where we have three pizzas owned by Anne, Ben and Charlie. Each pizza has a grey area. Now the grey area represents the part of the pizza that the person has eaten. Now if we were to write down how much they ate as a fraction, Anne ate half of the pizza, Ben ate two quarters of the pizza and Charlie ate three sixths of the pizza. Now we are told that the fractions above are equivalent, which is really interesting because all three fractions are different. So what do we mean by this word equivalent? Well, just by looking at the image of the pizzas, yes, they've been cut into different amounts, but they've all eaten the same amount of pizza. They've all eaten half of the pizza. So even though the fractions have different numbers on them, they are equivalent or equal to each other. So how can we know if two fractions are equivalent if we don't have an image in front of us? Well, let's explore that a little bit. We just learned that half is the same as 2 over 4 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 and we'll see what happens. 1 times 2 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. You will notice that when we multiplied the numerator and the denominator by the same number we got an equivalent fraction. Let's do it again. This time we're going to take a half and I'm going to multiply the numerator by 3 and the denominator by the exact same number, 3 as well. What happens there? Well, in this scenario, 1 times 3 is 3 and 2 times 3 is 6. Now we have three equivalent fractions, 1 half, 2 quarters and 3 six. These are exactly the same as the three fractions we had with our pizzas. So I would like to introduce you to what I call the golden rule. The golden rule being that you can multiply or also divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. Now if you do this, you will get an equivalent fraction, which is basically a fraction that is exactly the same as the one you started with. The reason I call this the golden rule is that as we go through the fractions topic, we're going to revisit this. If you can master the golden rule, you can solve most fraction problems. Anyway, let's go into example one, which wants you to write three fractions that are equivalent to two over five. Using the golden rule, let's start with two over five. All we need to do is multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. We can pick any number we like. So let's take an easy one. Let's times them both by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 5 times 2 is 10. We get 4 over 10. We need 3 of them. Let's go again. Um, let's go 2 over 5. Let's multiply by 10. Multiplying by 10 is nice and easy. So this gives us 20 at the top and 50 at the bottom. And finally, um, 2 over 5, let's multiply this time by 5. We get 2 times 5 is 10, and 5 times 5 is 25. So we now have three equivalent fractions to 2 over 5. In fact, I'm going to show you some images that prove that these are equivalent. Alright, I've been able to bring up a fraction maker program. And this is the fraction 2 over 5, the fraction we started with. And you'll notice if we look up here, this 5 gives us our denominator and the 2 below it is our numerator. So we came up with the fraction 4 over, 4 over 10, sorry. So let's change that and see what happens. If we change it to 4 over 10, it should be an equivalent fraction. There we go. Notice that we've still got the same amount of area shaded. I mean, this time we've got four parts shaded, but the shaded part did not get any bigger or smaller. Um, the other one was 10 over 25. So we'll write that down. 
and you'll notice that the fraction, even though it'll have more pieces, it's still going to be the same amount shaded. There we go again. I can't do, I, th I think the other one was, um, bring it up 20 over 50. I can't do 20 over 50 on that program. It, it, it just doesn't like to cut our circle into that many pieces. But you can see by, by looking at it visually that this works, that we, that in all scenarios, we got equivalent fractions. Anyway, that concludes our video introducing equivalent fact fractions. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.